obviously a lot of attention nationally now, the spotlight on him. Have you had any conversations with him just about how to handle that or what, what you'd like to see him, just how he deals with, with that attention? Sure, for the last month. I've talked to him several times every week. Uh, usually later in the week on a Friday, talk to him during the game when he lost his composure. It's an ongoing process. It's, um, it's different now than ever with young people because of social media and because of phones and the, the notoriety. And if you have pride and then you do something and you come up short or on, you're on a short-term short -term failure and it concerns you and you lose your composure, you make yourself very vulnerable. And that can happen with young people. Ollie's still young. He's only been here two years, a year and a half. And he's, you know, he's playing great, but he's still a young person. He's learning. And he can get valuable information from those that have been ahead of him and before him. And uh, so we try to give him as much as possible. Have you tried to set him up maybe with some guys that have come before him and handled some big spotlights? Um, we haven't got to that. We're in the season. I mean, a month ago, nobody even wanted to talk about Ollie, right? So the only guys he's got is me. And I said it the other day, and I don't mind saying it again, I played with the two best running backs, two of the best in college football ever. And so I can give him information on what those guys did and how they handled themselves if they had a tough day or a tough practice or whatever, and give him information I think can help him based on my history with those guys. It seems to me, I'm an outsider, you obviously knew Thurman very differently, but it seems Thurman is closer personality-wise to Ollie than Perry would be to Ollie, but what, what have you told Ollie about how those guys handled it and that maybe his personality, how, how he's maybe able to Yeah, so that. Ollie's personality works against him publicly, social media-wise, what happened the other night. Barry never talked to anybody. It was not an issue. Thurman was a, an outgoing person and all that, but not um, to the extreme of what Ollie is, okay? So Ollie is... Um, as he progresses in his career, as he handles things, he could market himself for um, a huge future in uh, advertisements and commercials and stuff because they're looking for guys like that. He's a good-looking guy. He's big. He's got a beautiful smile. He's got a great personality. He likes to talk to people. I mean, they'll be all over him. But he has to learn the integral parts of what can get him to that point because this is a fact. If he continues to perform like that, he'll have those opportunities. If he, if he doesn't perform out there like that, he won't have those opportunities, whether we like it or not. These are things he has to do to perform like that to stay at this level. Coach, what does it say about him? When you had that talk with him on the sideline, it looked like it lasted for a while considering he was in the game, but his, two of his next three carries were for 17 and 22 yards. It looks like he responded almost immediately from that. I need to become a counselor. <clears throat> and the, the C I got in psychology my second year of college uh, must have provided me some insight. But that was the most time I've ever spent discussing the situation during a game with a player on the sideline. And he responded very well. Came back to me multiple times during the night at, or during the game and at halftime apologized to me and responded very well. What, but it's his choice, right? It's his career and our team. Those were the two things at stake right now. People watch Ollie and relate him to our team. People watch Ollie and relate him to his career. Those are two things that are very important, and these are choices he has to make now from this point moving forward. It's okay to make a mistake. It's not, it's not okay to compromise your, your um, confidence in yourself to recover from making a mistake like he did. But it was the best thing that could happen because it's happened. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was just a matter of time. I'd kind of been leading it in here talking to you guys. The last few weeks, what have I said? He needs to stay humble, and he needs to stay hungry. I've seen it too many times. Social media makes it much, much, much worse. Thurman might have been a victim of that because Thurman loved to be, um, loved people and liked to do all that. Barry wouldn't have because Barry wouldn't even not have had a phone at that particular time in his career. Different. So, but that's what they pay me to do, right, it's to keep guys like him intact. I don't draw plays. I don't go throw passes anymore. They pay me to do things like that. Fortunate for me, I challenged him, and it worked. If he would have left and walked off to the locker room and went home, then maybe we would have been in a different situation.